Halo, once again, with another uh, video on Gothic. From Marches on us. Darn it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Finally. Um, now I ran out of ink and I had trouble finding the pen, so you'll have to stick, stick with my faded pencil writing. Um, here's some two, not necessarily new verbs, but you know, two different verbs, which um, both mean to know but to different capacities, like kunan, um, means, it's similar to can in English, but it has a different meaning, it's closer to kana in, uh, Old Norse, which basically means, well, kana actually basically pretty much means can, or, like, you know, you know how to do something, but kunan in this sense means to, you know, know, usually, like, a person, or, it, you know, some other thing personally, well, you can probably know personal things too, but usually this is for knowing people, and meanwhile, Witan is for knowing uh, general knowledge. And of course, you don't see the uh, conjugations here. Um, and for the first sentence, um, uh, Kantu Atan Minana me, Nana, uh, Wela. And I even wrote these sentences in Elder Futhark runes, which are the runes that... I think there are some Gothic inscriptions written in runes, but I, I think there are very little. Um, mainly, they're, they're used for writing Proto-Germanic, um, which is basically the first Germanic language to exist. Um... And this means, do you know my father well? Or literally, no, you know, as in the question form, you know, um, father my, or father mine, or father my, well. Um, um, then there's, brothar, is, uh, manan, Kan soy anglisk rovithith. And of course, I wrote, I wrote it in runes again. Um, and which means his brother knows a man who's, who speaks English. Um, with anglisk meaning English. Or being the reconstruction, the reconstructed word for English. Then there's, and the form of to know is the, uh, con, you know, con, with, you know, the personal knowledge thing. And then there's the general knowledge. Wit, thoughty, huila. Nist Langa, um, which means I know that uh, time is not long. Now, of course, that is not entirely true, but eh. It, it's a sentence. It's an example sentence. And um, I'm just going to show real quick. Uh, this doesn't really have much to do with Gothic, but I remember uh, there was... Someone named uh, West Korea Best Korea uh, on uh, the server wondering about, you know, writing in lowercase runes, which runes were never really written in, you know, letter casings. And, and those, well, at least those that were, were a part of modified Latin alphabets like Thorn in Old English and Old Norse and in modern Icelandic is... A modified Latin letter, letter based off of a, the letter of the rune, letter thorn, and win or winyo, in Old English, that actually no winyo is the Proto-Germanic. Win is the Old English word for uh, joy, which is this letter, which looks like a P, but it's actually a w w sound, and Old English used that letter for the same purposes, for the same you know phonetic sound. 
Um, and that was written in a modified Latin script for Old English. But, you know, he, or he or she, or I, I don't know, um, you know, wanted, you know, basically a script form, like a letter script form of the runes, including capital and lower cases. And I wrote different variations. I think this might be my best variation because it, it took the least amount of strokes and it's probably the least complex looking one. But still looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Of course, there's a lot of errors, and that is kind of covered up by the scribbles here. And the cursive looks... Eh. Um, in my opinion. Uh, anyways, back to Gothic. Um, Wilma Sewalos Godos for Sewalos Vilos. Do we want good souls or bad souls? With fo meaning or. And this literally means we want, in question form, or want we, at least in Norwegian, it would be kind of like it would be structured as want we, but eh, in Gothic, this is the question form of that verb. And then souls good or soul or, you know, souls bad. Uvilos. Um, then the final sentence that they wrote from the lesson, uh, Runa, uh, Godo, Wait, Thoi, Melian, Mach. I know a good mystery that I can write, which the word for rune and runa are actually related to the word are related, and it came, of course, came from an older word that meant mystery, which eventually, you know, went to, you know, mentioning the letters uh, of, you know, Germanic alphabets, uh, well, non-Latin Germanic alphabets, which are the runes, and this is literally, mystery good, I know, which or that To write, I can. And uh, that's what I learned today. Goliathuk. And remember, Einir, Unus Anus.